What are the best free MMORPG games? Choosing the best free MMOs isn't easy, as many great games fall into this category. However, some games stand out from others in terms of quality, engagement, and long-term playability. Luckily, I made this video with the best free MMORPG games, so you don't have to. Neverwinter is a surprise. It is thematically Dungeons & Dragons, taking the places, classes, spells, and abilities from the tabletop game and then cramming them inside one of the best MMORPGs. It should not work, but somehow it does. It helps that there is an earnest love for the source material of D&D games, and each quest feels like one you could imagine yourself embarking upon while sitting around a table. Lots of free expansions, which include new races and classes, have been introduced in the time since Neverwinter launched, taking players far from the safety of Neverwinter itself to lands like Icewind Dale, where barbarians and unpleasant temperatures are the least of your worries. In addition to its solid license, Star Trek Online offers a rich and unique gameplay experience that is unbeatable in the MMO market. With its spaceships and aliens, and a consistent blend of third-person shooter and naval simulator, Space Truckers Online is an addictive game that will keep you hooked with its spaceships and aliens. Many familiar elements are found in the series and films that are as enjoyable to discover as they sound. Fan service is done right in Star Trek. The original series by blowing up board cubes, strolling Deep Space Nine's promenade, or beaming down to exotic planets as part of an away team. A new story expansion on the Alpha Quadrant, launching at the end of January, offers new gameplay content set in a previously unexplored sector, as well as a number of recent limited-time events and mini-games. Looking to lose yourself in an MMO with a nuanced storyline and deep battle system? Well, look no further than Wizard 101. This game sees you playing as a student in the Ravenwood School for Magical Arts and you have to decide whether you want to enroll in the school for fire, ice, storm, myth, life, death, or balance. Each one will allow your character to learn and develop different magical abilities, all of which will drastically affect how you approach battles. You'll end up traveling around the fantasy world of the Spiral Witch, in true video game fashion, involves locales that range from winter wonderlands to arid deserts and countless other environments. The game's storyline involves you coming up against the school's former necromancy teacher, Malastare. While at first, he might seem a bit of a generic evil wizard, you'll soon find that his motivations are much more interesting. Unlike many MMOs, Terra approaches combat from a whole new perspective, allowing players to even use a controller if they wish. Because this third-person combat is so smooth and action-focused, it attracts players that aren't extremely fond of the traditional turn-based combat system that other games often use. The character classes are also well-balanced. Each race has unique advantages and is animated for class skills. It really makes choosing your race and class feel meaningful, as opposed to just an aesthetic difference. Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn is a story of heartwarming redemption. When it was originally released, it was not very good. In fact, it was terrible. This triggered Square Enix to take drastic action, ditch the old team, hire a new team, and remake Final Fantasy XIV in its entirety. The outcome is A Realm Reborn, and it is good. It hits everything the series is known for, epic stories of good and evil duking it out, varied, painfully gorgeous environments, over-the-top characters, flashy cutscenes, and chocobos galore. It is also clever, players have great flexibility within their FFX IV classes. As soon as you hit level 10, you can switch to any of the game's 8 combat classes at just the switch of the weapon. The upside is that players do not need to create outs to try out other roles. The Endwalker expansion adds new jobs, the Reaper and the Sage, locations, instances, and the long-requested male version of the Viera race. However, the story takes center stage, concluding the events that began in A Realm Reborn. Few MMOs receive as many quality updates and expansions, so it's worth hopping back in if you've been away for a while. If you want to learn more, check out our FFX IV Endwalker review. It's also well worth checking out our FFX IV leveling guide if you're new to the JRPG game. Created by NCSoft, the same developer that gave us Guild Wars and City of Heroes, this game is a stunning MMO that immerses players in a post-apocalyptic world which has been torn apart by warring races. This MMO really shines in its balance of player versus environment and player versus player interactions. The combat is fast-paced, with distinctive mechanics and creative chain attacks. The world itself is beautifully designed, and with an ample number of seasonal events that take place. If you're a fan of post-apocalyptic games, this is one MMO you don't want to miss out on.
the hit Korean MMO finally made it to Western shores, and we gave it 9 out of 10 in our Lost Ark review. At its heart, it's a superb dungeon crawler, where you play as an adventurer looking to make their fortune in the land of Arkesia. Demons stand in your way of treasure, and before long, you'll have access to crafting materials, guilds, collectibles, and so much more. If you're considering checking the game out, we've got some guides that can help you get started, from how to level up quickly in Lost Ark to what you need to know about Lost Ark Gold and Lost Ark Makoko Seeds. There are also some great features here for those who care about raiding, guilds, PvP, and co-op dungeons. If those sound appealing, it may be worth giving Lost Ark a go. We do, however, feel that Lost Ark should be avoided if you have a history of gambling. Understandably, you may think the World of Warcraft isn't a free MMORPG. So why is it listed? You can play the first 20 levels of the game for free, and since 20 levels mean a lot of time in World of Warcraft, you should have no problem playing it all. It is for this reason that it has been included on this list. There are not many people who are unfamiliar with the World of Warcraft. It's a game that's synonymous with the MMORPG genre. It offers players an expansive, ever-expanding universe filled with content to discover. All the elements of a quality MMORPG are present in this game, such as character customization, a persistent open world, and a compelling storyline. Getting started with World of Warcraft should be your top priority if you haven't done so already. A game like this shouldn't be missed. Like World of Warcraft, RuneScape has been a staple of the MMORPG genre for as long as we can remember. But rather than dwindle, RuneScape continues to grow in terms of both players and content. New quests and events are introduced on an almost weekly basis so that veterans always have something fresh to experience while new players enter a world already enriched by a decade of lore and adventures. Don't worry about getting to grips with RuneScape either, as its community is among the most generous and friendly in all gaming, or you can check out our RuneScape Beginner's Guide. Whether you're looking for advice on a tricky quest or simply after a chat, you'll find help is always at hand. It's not just history that RuneScape boasts either, with major expansions, a mobile release, and countless spin-offs, Jagex's MMO shows absolutely no signs of stopping. EVE Online is still the premier space MMO, and it has been the source of many memorable gaming stories, owing to the way it focuses on a few elements and excels at them. As well as meticulous simulations and systems, CCP pays attention to its dedicated community and responds appropriately, as it is often their subscribers who make the decisions. Although detractors dismiss EVE as spreadsheets in space, the criticism highlights one of its strongest points, its real and thriving economy. It is said that in-game intrigue has spilled over into the real world on occasion, as the corporations and alliances in EVE take their business very seriously. No other game can compare with EVE Online's depth, nuance, complicated diplomacy, and expansive space battles. Despite a rocky beginning, The Elder Scrolls Online remains a strong entry for one of the best MMORPGs on PC. The Elder Scrolls games are among the best RPGs around, and now you can sink even more of your time into the series' rich and vibrant universe by playing online with friends or total strangers. Set 1000 years before Skyrim and 800 years before Morrowind and Oblivion, The Elder Scrolls Online begins in Cald Harbor's Wailing Prison, where, staying true to Elder Scrolls tradition, the player is a prisoner. After escaping, you're free to explore the continent of Tamriel, battling monsters, discovering dungeons, and crafting weapons with fellow adventurers or on your own. With a handful of expansions bringing old and new regions into the game like Murkmire and Somerset, not to mention plenty of planned future DLC releases, the Elder Scrolls Online universe is forever expanding, making for an MMO that always feels fresh. You can do pretty much anything in Archeage, a medieval fantasy game that takes you to a medieval fantasy world. If you want to be a powerful warrior, you can do so with a huge sword of your own and a big group of friends at your side, or you can become an economics expert and take on the challenges of farming and trade. As a pirate, you can rob traders and plunder their goods. Additionally, mounts and travel play an important role in Archeage. On top of riding wild animals such as lions and deer across its colossal world, you can also take to the air and sea. You can sail the oceans in anything from rowboats to warships, and there are also aerial modes of transportation like gliders and airships. Archie it shows how dedicated Tryon is, and the resources that they have available to them, in its polish and longevity. 
In Destiny 2, you take on the role of a righteous and stalwart guardian, defending the last city of humanity against anyone or anything that would seek to destroy it. As with most action MMOs, you begin by creating your guardian, customizing their face, hair, and body to your satisfaction. There are three classes to choose from, the shield-bearing titan, spell-slinging warlock, and agile hunter. Each class comes with its own unique abilities, along with perks and upgrades to differentiate yourself from other players of your Destiny 2 class. Once you've decided on your character, you're let loose to explore the solar system, uncovering its secrets through engaging missions that you can complete solo or with friends. The valuable loot you can uncover on your travels is vital to improving your Guardian's equipment, but Destiny 2's story is where it truly shines. Its ever-expanding world is constantly receiving updates, including seasons, events, and expansions, and it shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon. Take a gander at our Destiny 2 Lightfall review and the full list of the Lightfall exotics you can expect to pick up while hitting Lost Sector locations. If you prefer to stick to the main campaign for the time being, we've also got a complete Destiny 2 Lightfall mission list to steer you in the right direction. Secret World Legends is the 2017 update to the Secret World, which saw its initial release in 2012. Featuring locations based on those in our real world, Lovecraftian monsters, and an incredible narrative, this MMORPG is arguably one of the most story-driven that you can play for free. In-game, players of Secret World Legends can don modern attire, equip themselves with assault rifles, and take on big-ass monsters in a way that sort of feels like a mix between Dark Souls and Resident Evil. It definitely is one of the best free MMORPGs that you can jump into today. Trove is an action-focused MMO, often compared to games similar to Minecraft, and one of the best building games on PC. Firstly, you'll need to build a base, a home from home, where you can fashion all sorts of creatures, weapons, and items. Once your home base is established, you can zip between worlds, loot dungeons, and go on quests online with your friends or guild pals. Trove's dedicated community is always updating and bringing the best Trove mods, so there's always something to do, whether you're improving your base or looting with your online buddies. DC Universe Online, an online MMORPG with custom abilities, offers the opportunity to build your own superhero and play with well-known heroes from the DC multiverse, such as Wonder Woman, Superman and Batman, among others. In addition to its unique combat tap targeting system which makes it stand out from other games on this list, it also makes the game more user-friendly for players, as well as having a captivating storyline, cool gear to collect, and levels that allow players to choose how they want to progress in the game, DC Universe Online offers many other features that will appeal to gamers. Using a real-time battle system, Blade and Soul combines martial arts-inspired combat and Qinggong, a Chinese jumping technique from the art of Baguazhang, to create some really engaging combat situations. The vast world that enables PvE and PvP combat is gorgeous, and there are so many dungeons to play through that you won't have to worry about running out anytime soon. For fans of custom characters, you're also in luck. This game features the ability to tailor a lot of your character's aspects, including their facial structures, hair, height, body, and markings. If you're looking for an MMO where you can sit back, relax, do a little crafting, and tend to your farm while popping out for the occasional fight and odd monster hunt, then Albion Online is not your game. It's PvP from the get-go, and for that reason, you'll always need to be alert and on guard. The full loot drop system can be slightly frustrating, but Albion Online demands players to be tactical and patient. It's a lot of fun and requires brain power and perseverance to steer your guild in the right direction, but it's as rewarding as it is tough. TriStar Conflict If you like space exploration, the free MMORPG puts you in the role of a space pilot seeking out alien treasures scattered all over its expansive universe. During Star Conflict, you are tasked with collecting various spaceships, for example, fighters or massive satellites that you can float in space. There are a variety of PvE quests and raids in the game, where you have to fight alien squadrons and space pirates in PvP while floating around in outer space in your spaceship. You can also customize your spaceship using various weapon types or ship modules organized under a tech tree. Another great feature of Star Conflict is that it allows players to experience the game in virtual reality with Oculus Rift. Tolkien's World of Middle-Earth is a perfect setting for an MMO. 
it has great characters, a massive world to explore, and everyone is always fighting. Humans, elves, dwarves, and hobbits aka the good guys, make up the playable races of Lord of the Rings Online, and as hunters or burglars or one of the other classes, you'll go on your own adventure, half following in the footsteps of the famous Fellowship, meet Ents, get lost in Moria, or take long rides through Rohan. Expansions push the story forward, following the books, and with each major plot point comes new mechanics, like the addition of mounted combat. If you have ever dreamed of experiencing Tolkien's world firsthand, this MMORPG has you covered. Best of all, it is free to play, making it the perfect RPG MMO to play right now. Throughout your apotheosis, you become a god, gaining followers, and ascending to godhood in a sci-fi world fully equipped with advanced technology. That's true, all those words do not typically go together, but let's not give up just yet. When you can make your own god in Skyforge, why be a mere minion in a vast world filled with other loot grinders? Unlike many typical MMOs, Skyforge offers players the ability to change their class at any time, so matchmaking is smooth and level progression is no longer necessary. In the prestige system, characters are ranked according to their general stats rather than by leveling up. Skyforge offers a nice diversion from other MMOs grind by changing traditional MMO systems, offering a fascinating sci-fi world, and offering action-oriented combat. A galaxy far, far away is the perfect setting for one of the best MMOs, so it is no surprise that Bioware Star Wars, The Old Republic is a winner. Play is one of eight classes split across the Empire and Republic. Each has a detailed, dramatic story, and they are good, surprisingly so. You can take on the role of an Imperial agent, working for the good of the Empire by rooting out terrorists, a Jedi Knight sworn to hunt Sith and protect the galaxy, or even a slave turned Sith Inquisitor, playing a dangerous game of politics. You can play all of this for free, but as a subscriber, you can level faster and concentrate solely on the interesting class and planetary quests instead of the trite filler rubbish. Several expansions have kept it feeling reasonably fresh, but it is the excellent Knights of the Fallen Empire expansion that really deserves to be played. With its web of intrigue, relationships, and a focus on player choice, it feels more like a proper Knights of the Old Republic sequel than anything that has come before it. Store is easily one of the best Star Wars games ever. Another free MMORPG for beginners to start with, Guild Wars 2, has an interesting storyline that changes based on your decisions. You won't find that in other games of its kind. As with most other MMORPGs, the game includes general features like character customization, crafting, and strong PvP and PvP elements. It takes place in the fantasy world of Tyria and lets players explore a vast persistent world alone or with friends. As part of Guild Wars 2's story, there are also a number of instanced environments that players will encounter. Guild Wars 2's dynamic action-based mechanic makes leveling up far more enjoyable than World of Warcraft, which is sometimes considered a grind. If you're tired of the monotony of leveling up in other MMORPGs, this game is for you. As a prequel to the first game, this massively multiplayer online game has become staggeringly successful since its first release in South Korea in 2003. Along with being able to take on interesting monsters, players can also take on each other with the PvP modes that allow them to apply different settings to their characters, such as Peaceful, meaning you will never attack others, or Bloodthirsty, meaning you will attack anyone outside of your party. If you want to jump into this game but are afraid there isn't enough to do, keep in mind that new features and add-ons are released every six months, ensuring that you will literally never get bored. World of Warships is a tactical gamer's dream, and it trades in the fast-paced action shooter mechanics that other MMOs rely on for a slower, more strategic method of naval combat gameplay. With each warship being exceptionally powerful, every move counts, and the tension is real. Although it may not have a complex storyline or excessive character customization, World of Warships is cinematic, engaging, and makes you feel like a warfare genius when you strategize your way to victory. This game is regularly updated, ensuring continued playability so that players won't get bored anytime soon. New World is as much a sandbox survival game as it is a traditional RPG. 
it dispenses with the typical character creation of other fantasy MMOs, there are no other races aside from humans, and classes are replaced with attributes and skill systems that grant you the freedom to experiment with different character build at your leisure. New World is set in an approximation of the 1600s, so while you can don burnished plate armor and cast spells with an elemental staff, you can also wield a musket or blunderbuss. Take a look at our New World weapons tier list for the full scope. The newly discovered, hostile land of Eternum is threatened by the corrupted, a demonic horde whose presence must constantly be beaten back by the forces of good. You can band together and help construct and maintain settlements or strike off into the wilderness and face the supernatural threat alone. You can craft, quest, and explore across Eternum and even wage war in large-scale PvP conflicts as each New World faction's territory expands and encroaches upon one another. If you're looking to get started, our New World Beginner's Guide and Leveling Guide will certainly help you find your footing. So, did you like the games I recommended? So leave your like, subscribe to the channel to follow me and activate the bell because I post a lot of videos on this channel and you can't miss it. I would like to remind you that in the description we have a list of different products that can make your gaming experience much better. If you want to buy, the link will be in the description. Anyway, thank you very much for following me this far and until next time, bye.